out of storage and into people's arms. The French Prime Minister Jean Castex was amongst those receiving the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine on Friday in an effort to restore national confidence in its use. Although the French health authorities are currently only recommending it for people aged 55 and over. From the beginning, I always thought that the vaccine was safe. So maybe the people are in a panic, but there are always side effects. Germany and Italy have also restarted their rollout of the Oxford vaccine. The Netherlands and Portugal will follow next week. So too will Spain, although certain groups will be excluded. Sweden and Denmark said they needed a few more days to decide. But Germany's health minister warned that vaccines alone won't be enough to prevent a third wave of the virus. Many EU countries are extending restrictions or introducing new ones. Germany says it's currently in talks with Russia to secure supplies of its Sputnik vaccine, pending its approval by the EU. The rising case numbers may mean that we cannot take further opening steps in the weeks to come. On the contrary, we may even have to take steps backwards. In France, 16 regions, along with Paris, are going into a month-long lockdown from this evening. Schools will remain open, but non-essential shops will close and travel will be restricted. In the French capital, more people are in intensive care now than during the second wave in November. New Covid variants have forced President Emmanuel Macron to change his strategy. The virulent strain first found in the UK now accounts for 75% of French cases. More than 25 million Britons have had at least one dose of a vaccine so far in hospitals, doctor's surgeries and special vaccine hubs like this one. The government says it's on target to give every adult in the country at least one dose by the end of July. That's despite a four million dose shortfall from a factory in India. It is enviable progress and the European Union knows it. With the Oxford AstraZeneca jab now reapproved, the EU must move quickly to make up for lost time. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.